All right, so this is my 2004 V63. It's a 645 CSRCI, um, and it's a six-speed manual. So if you haven't watched other parts uh, or other videos on this car, uh, I was trying to make like a budget track build out of it. Uh, it used to be my wife's car, and she didn't want a manual anymore, so it kind of didn't serve a purpose, and I was like, let's see what we can do. So what we've done so far is we put E60 M5 brakes on it, we put an E60 M5 uh, LSD in it, which took it from a 323 open to a 362 limited slip. The other thing I did was put the clutch setup out of an SMG E60 M5. And it's a twin disc setup that looks like this. I have all the pieces here. So you end up with um, twin discs, like I said. So there's two discs, a center friction plate. It goes like that. And then the actual flywheel or pressure plate here. So what happened with this one is when I installed it, it, it worked great, but the throw was just slightly off. I had to be like almost all the way off the clutch pedal before there was any engagement. And when I pushed it all the way in, there was actually like a grind there when I first did it. I ended up shortening the clutch uh, or the slave pin. I grind it down slightly. I think that improved it a little bit. Um, but if you think about it, just by making it shorter, the throw is still the same. It's just where it starts is. So if it was just too far in, I might've helped it a little bit, but that's really not the solution. The solution would be uh, starting farther back. Anyway, I'll discuss that when I when we start putting it back together because I have a plan. But you can see there's these pins here and there's some missing here. When we pulled this trans off, there was some just sitting around. Um, so it had knocked these out. So then even when the, the throw out bearing wasn't pushing against these fingers, there still wasn't enough it. So the clutch was just slipping really, really, really bad. It made it undrivable. It didn't really torch the clutch. There's some hot spots, but it's still fairly flat, and I think it's just going to work just fine. So I was like, hey, there was a track day video recently, you guys saw, if you watch our stuff, with the, with the Turbo E36. I meant to take two cars in case the E36 broke. Which it did. Which it did. But I ended up, uh, there was a miscommunication between Zach and I about getting the clutch. I was just going to put a regular six series clutch back in it. So I decided to not do that. Instead, we're gonna try and keep this going. So it's another identical thing. I got it off eBay, paid a whopping $200, but it has all the pins in it. You need those. And this one actually looks like in really good shape too. So here's the first disc, looks barely worn. And then the center plate thing, And then the second disc, and again, there's still mines in it. I don't think it's really in bad shape at all. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in. This only lines up like a certain way. See if I can figure out which way that certain way is. Got her. Like butter. And then, yeah, it's kind of cool. They're, they're like splined, um, the clutches, so they, they like click into each other. So pretty cool. My plan, I can show you on the side of the chain, is put washers on these studs here so that when I put the nut on and put the slave in, that the slave will be contacting but won't be able to push as far. Because what happened, you come to the front, is when the slave was in here behind this, it was pushing this far enough forward that this part right here, actually we should be able to see it. I'm look at it. Can't really see it, but it would have had to have contacted the, uh, the actual pressure plate on the back of the clutch. And that's how it knocked those pins out. And you could feel it when I first, oh, that's not in the best shape now. Probably won't replace that. Budget build. Budget um, build. But 
it nicked it and then after it nicked it that first time then those things oh here's one of them so they just started falling out of the clutch so yep so yeah space the slave and uh see if she gets any better yep the only thing i'm slightly worried about that is because i cut it and rounded it so it's like slightly shorter than it was mm -hmm. that it might not work i might have to order another slave but figure it out when we get there hodgepodge this together but I just really like the way that that clutch felt when it was in there. And this is an extremely affordable way because I already had all the parts to have a clutch that will handle clutch kicks and uh, burnouts and yeah, just beating on it better. So we're going to get back on that and then uh, yeah, see if we can get this thing back on the road. Off to the store we go. <laughs> Bolts acquired. All right, let's uh, let's see if we uh, space the slave correctly. Clutch pedal feels fine. We didn't tighten the nuts on the headers. We didn't tighten the nut at all. <laughs> nowhere near the top either oh that's good so moral of the story you got to grind off the nub of your uh, slave cylinder and put three washers <laughs> to make your m5 clutch work well the grinding doesn't matter oh you think just the spacers? that would only matter if it was too long okay so just the spacers are what you need yeah i think i actually could use more spacers but it's it's okay so we're driving it feels pretty good. It's still farther out than I want it to be, but we can't really space it anymore because uh, there isn't really any more threads to put the nuts on after we space it. So, but it's back in business. The more important thing is there's nothing interfering. It just works now. It snowed today, so these, what are they? They're not all seasons. No, these are uh, Michelin uh, Pilot Sports PS4S's, if you know what those are. So they're designed for grip in the snow. <laughs> Man, I miss this car. It's better than I thought it was. Yeah, this is a nice car. Yeah, it drives well. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, she's done. She's back on the road. There's still a little things under the hood. We've got a little small cool leak, small oil leak. We'll take care of, but not super entertaining for videos. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, here at the end of the video, here's some nice music and us doing donuts. <laughs>